So there's some new changes to some of the sculpting brushes in Cinema 4D version 15. And I've got this simple model here, which I've been working on. And I know it's not much to look at, but uh, I'm going to use it for this example. And um, firstly, I'm going to show you the smooth brush. So under the smooth brush, we've got this new button called flood. And if I click that, it basically applies um, the smooth operation to the entire model at all kind of normal angles. So I'm just going to click that. And as you can see, now it's smoothing the entire model. So I'm just going to undo that and I'm going to go to inflate because we've got the same option here as well. And inside inflate, we've got a few more options. So we've got flood, which uh, inflates pretty much everything at the same time like this, which produces an interesting look. But I'm just going to undo that a few times. And we've also got this uh, slider here. So we can interactively inflate and control the amount like this to get some really weird uh, results. And we can even use a material. So I'm just going to show you how the material works. Um, I'm going to create a noise map. So I'll just use this grey material. And I'm just going to go to the color channel turn off specular, go to color, and I'm going to add a noise map. And just add something like uh, Naki. Increase the contrast here, like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this over here and go to my sculpt tag, sorry, my inflate uh, button. And I'm just going to drag and drop this material over here, like that. So now when I use the slider, it's basically applying that noise map uh, to the inflate operation we're doing. So some pretty uh, interesting results there. So I'm just going to leave it there. And then I'm going to go to smooth like that and just flood it a few times with smooth. And now we've got this kind of uh, the thing effect going on like in Fantastic Four. So yeah, some pretty cool additions to the sculpting tool set. And uh, thanks for watching.